Uh, hi, everyone. I'm pretty happy to be here in front of you guys. So I'm going to be talking about different use cases um, where we're leveraging our API. So let's dive into it. I have choose to talk to you guys about sharing context. Um, visibility is key here, right? Pretty, pretty sure that most of, of you guys know that. Uh, visibility is key to identify threat and also part of uh, mitigation workflow as well, right? Um, so I have choose to show you how we can leverage um, Duo um, and also AWS um, information that those two solutions already have, um, whether it's user that has been authenticated to Duo, IP, host profile as well, from Duo context or from AWS, and share that information with Firepower Management Center. So the first one is um, how do we essentially share Duo user context with FMC? Um, I have not reinvented the wheel here. There's already a, um, a script available, a public script available on, on Cisco.com in, um, into the FMC folder to import a host profile from AMP console into FMC. Unfortunately, it's a Perl script. I'm not a big fan of Perl. I have learned Python a couple of years ago, so I prefer to play with Python. So I have decided to create a wrapper around it and then use that wrapper to essentially go and fetch information that I fear that is more important for uh, my FMC to know. So in my case, I was wondering how can I fetch information and use the context from Duo? So I had created a couple of scripts in the past where I was using the admin API of Duo. So I knew at that time that I was going to be able to get user information, the time frame as well, where when the user has been authenticated, a little bit of information about the, the host as well um, that was used to authenticate, and and maybe as well application, right? Um, some of the application details are, are in the log as well. So script is pretty easy. Um, you fetch information from inside, you crunch and the, the, all the information that you have been able to retrieve, and then you push that, right, literally to the FMC, to two different uh, API. The goal here, guys, it's always to think outside of the box, right? So there's two API I've uh, been leveraging on FMC to do that. First one is host input API that everyone mainly run is uh, familiar with. And there are also um, an API that is less familiar or less popular, and it's not even available. At, there's no documentation on it. It's the REST VDI API, which is the, uh, the terminal um, session uh, agent um, API. So I have choose to use that one as well to push user information, and then the host input API to push everything that is related to an IP where we can get the information about that the application that is leveraging and, and OS as well. Um, same thing here, um, same concept, um, but leveraging context that I can fetch from AWS AC2 instance. Um, so API is pretty open, right? So that was pretty easy as well to learn. Um, AWS has a very big API portfolio. Uh, so there is a way to retrieve all these context information from AC, AC2 instance where you can see the OS, um, and, and populate as well, maybe at the same time as well within my script, attribute to FMC host profile. So same thing here happened. There's a wrapper Python around the Perl script uh, was already created by someone else. Get the information on the API side from AWS AC2 instance context and then send that to the host profile um, uh, or the host API profile uh, on FMC. As you can see, there is a lot of information that gets populated by, by the script, uh, whether it's the oper operating system, uh, the uh, maybe as well some attribute, as I said. So I have choose to include some attribute, which uh, um, state the, uh, the name uh, in AC2, the name of the host, um, the public, or the private IP as well, since AWS always two IP, uh, if, there, it's a, if it's a server that's publicly available. Um, the instant type as well, Essentially, even the VPC name, uh, which is great information to get into your FMC. So even if that host is not beside the STD, then you can still get the context um, uh, around that IP in your organization, right, in your FMC. So now let's dive into the demo. 
So um, I'm running. I'm currently running my my script on the Linux box, but essentially it probably can be ported to uh, a Lambda function. Um, that's my guess. Uh, I'm not there yet. It's running on a Linux server on my home. I'm going to show you the content of the repository where I have all um, the information that I get from my GitHub. Um, there is a couple of files that are interesting here. The first one I have highlighted over here, which is the DB, uh, which contains all the association of a user and also IP and application and all that. And there's the main script as well that needs to be run. Um, as you can see, I will run that script in my cron tab. So in my case, the two scripts that I've been talking about, the AWS one and the Duo one, are run every two minutes or every 20 minutes for the AWS one. It's up to you guys. If you want to test that, you can run that every two minutes, every five minutes, every 10 minutes. It's up to you. And then um, after the uh, script has been uh, run by the Kranta, make sure that it's been updated as well. Let's now let's let's do a tail minus f on the um, JSON file, which is the database, uh, so we can see when the uh, authentication will arrive into the script itself. Okay, um, and then let's move to uh, an RDP session. So as you can see on the top, there's a public IP that we will retrieve in the FMC as well uh, to get context. Um, pretty straightforward here. I'm just doing a, um, a authentication to uh, Office 365, of course, using, uh, using uh, MFA from uh, Duo. Of course, that's what we want to test, username, password, you're all familiar with that, guys. Um, and then push, uh, hopefully you guys know what this is as well. Um, and then voila, um, I'm logging to uh, Office 365, almost. Um, and then I get access to my um, my email and all that. Um, then let's go back to uh, my logs. Um, take a couple of seconds here. Let's go back to the logs and see when we will get the specific information uh, from the script. Of course, guys, the script needs to be run by a cron tab, right? Um, and uh, something important to say as well over here, um, the logs from Duo will be populated into the repository of log of API every two minutes. Um, so there's no reason to fetch logs uh, every minute from the repository of log in the cloud from Duo. Um, it will be there only after two minutes. Um, as you can see in the logs over here, there's a name, IP, and domain name as well, and session ID, which represent the authentication of the overall things all together. Now let's uh, let's dive into FMC uh, and see the final result, right? Um, we'll go to our FMC. As as the FMC refresh, we will see a new identity created uh, with the name Alex found uh, under uh, internetsyncall.com, um, and also a new association between the IP, public IP that you saw uh, in the RDP session uh, with that uh, that name. Um, if we Dig into the host profile, and you, we can see multiple different things here that have been added automatically, right, by the script, either the AWS uh, 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 context, or also the current user that is connecting or using that machine to authenticate to um, Office 25, right, using Duo.